Once upon a time, Gus's father was fixing their car engine while Gus and his sister Gigi were playing nearby. Dad, what's this big thing you're doing? This is a car engine, Gus. This is what makes the car move. Where is the engine? Well, the engine is in the car. Who made the engine? First, the steam engine was invented, then gasoline engines, and now electric cars that do not need fuel. How did people move heavy objects before the invention of the engine? Carts and wagons pulled by horses or boats and ships were used for water transportation. What about the train? How were they invented? Trains were invented in the early 1800s and used steam engines for propulsion. The steam engine was a great invention that allowed people to travel long distances quickly. Wow, that's amazing. Can we see a steam engine in action? Actually, we can go back in time and see the first steam engine built. Gus had an idea. He remembered the time machine his family used to use and asked his father if they could use it to go back in time. Dad, can we use the time machine to go back in time and see the first steam engine? That's a great idea, Gus. Let's go. Everyone gathers around. Gus pulls the time machine out of his pocket to hit the button. You almost included me in your wonderful adventures. Please make sure before traveling. <laughs> there is no fun without Mom. Oh, where are we? We're in the early 1800s when the first steam engine was invented. They saw a group of people working on a huge machine that emitted steam and smoke. What is that car, Dad? This is the first steam engine ever built, Gigi. Invented by James Watt. Can we see how it works? <laughs> of course. Let's take a closer look. They approached the machine and saw that a big pot was full of water. The fire heated the water and the steam produced was used to power the engine. It is very big and noisy. But that's amazing too. I wish we could take it back with us. Unfortunately, we can't, but we can learn a lot from it. They spent some time watching the steam engine in action and marveled at how it could move and carry heavy loads. Trains run on coal. Yes, it is. And it is the beginning of the first steam engine. But in our time, it's no longer used due to air pollution. And they make a lot of smoke. Can we ride the smoke train? Yes. Let's go for a ride. As they enjoyed riding the first steam engine. On the board. My train is beautiful. The car goes full of balls. My train is going fast. My train is small, the cargo's full of sweets. My train is going fast, going fast, fast, fast. Chugga, chugga, choo, choo. Chugga, chugga, choo, choo. Chugga, chugga, choo, choo. Chugga, chugga, choo, choo. My train is red, the cargo's full of dolls. My train is going fast. As they enjoyed riding the The children are playing and having fun in the park. Suddenly they see a lady rabbit with a bicycle cart full of ice cream. Yeah, 
Yes! I love ice cream! Wow! This is really delicious! How is it made? Well, it starts a long time ago. <laughs> the family of giraffes find themselves in a very far away land. They look around and see an ancient civilization. Where are we? Guys, let me know before you hit the counter. <laughs> oh! <laughs> this is Iran. The first ice cream was made here. Legends say that a long time ago, a young boy mixed snow with milk, honey and eggs. He mixed and mixed until he created a creamy, cold treat that everyone loved. I think I should go into that shop and ask. The deer's name is Karim, and it became famous for its creation because it turned ice into a delicious food, and people started calling it ice cream. What are you making? I am making ice cream. Would you like to try it? Me, me! Yes, please! <laughs> Who's eating ice cream? This is very delicious! What made you decide to make ice cream? I would have liked to have a cold treat, and the only cold thing here was snow. Oh, that's how ice cream! Exactly, and it has been a favorite for generations. That's so cool! Can we make our own ice cream? Sure. Let's get to work. Children, put on aprons and hats and get to work. Whip cream and sugar and add their favorite flavors and toppings. This is great. This is the best ice cream ever. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for showing us how to make it. What a sweet adventure! Join us next time as Gary the Giraffe and his family continue their time-traveling adventures. <laughs>